going on guys? Mark Galloway here. So we are starting the trip here in Pennsylvania. So it is now June 28th. Tomorrow is June 29th and Sunday is July the 1st. So we are here in uh, Sus... I can't... <clears throat> Sorry. I can't really remember what the town's name is. I... It... I guess it, I actually, maybe I do know, it's just vague at the moment, <coughs> but, um, yeah, I, I also just can't really pronounce it, I'm not going to struggle with it, but we're here basically in the upper part of Pennsylvania, right by the upper state of New York, right by the Poconos, and, uh, so we have, it's the second versus Monster Trucks event of the year, and, uh, it's going to be at a local raceway. And uh, it's, I know the name of that place, Penn Can Speedway. So it's a nice looking location for the event. And um, yeah, um, it should have a little bit of a better outcome, hopefully. I actually asked Steve if there was a way we can have fireworks at this event. He's, all, he's up for it, but he would have to try to find someone. I don't know if he's going to be able to. Um, there is some that are affordable. And um, I did think that maybe I could get some, maybe for the 4th of July, but I do remember that in my state, fireworks are illegal. So I don't know. I don't think I would take want to take the chance, even if I could get a few. Not to mention that, like, I don't want to deal with my parents, you know, like, nagging me about, like, oh, the cops are going to come and stuff like that. You know, but it is what it is. Uh, I will have to see what Steve says. If he's not able to pull some strings, then, you know, we're going to pass on that. But here we are, we're at the hotel, chilling out. I tried to get an Airbnb, but there was limited available and I couldn't really get any in a nigga time. But here we are. So I actually did bring my, bring my belt and I was also told that the announcer for this weekend is supposed to be from a res, uh, wrestling promotion from the independent scene. I, I don't, that he didn't say, I don't think he said what, what it was, but yeah. Uh, so anyways, uh, here is the, uh, my my car is right there. I'm I'm gonna have to try to block the license plate. I probably will give you a better out. Uh, I'll probably give you a better look outside. But yeah, but this is the room. Basically, it's just a generic uh, hotel room. But I do want to show you this bathroom. It looks pretty nice. There's like a walk-in shower here, so like there's nothing. Uh, there's no curb. There's like no towel blockage up there. But yeah, so it's kind of big. But yeah, for the most part, nothing special. So, we this hotel also has a pool. So, on one of the days while I'm here, I should be able to hopefully go swimming. I didn't get the GoPro, unfortunately. So, I can't film myself in the water. But you'll see a quick clip of me swimming, hopefully, if I'm able to get the chance. Just as long as no one's there. Because, like, I don't want people to think I'm, you know, this, this, this. But yeah. Anyways, um, let's give you a good look outside. And also, I, al I already have... My dinner right here, it's a sub. It's a different type of sub. I'm gonna have to heat in the microwave though, but I will eat it outside. But yeah, anyways, let's go outside. Okay, I have my key. So here we are, we have the barbecue section out here. I think I might be able to, if I'm able to turn it on. Though I think you might need to have a lighter with you. Though I don't think they have one. They had the propane. I don't know if I'll, no, I don't know if I'm gonna work it. But yeah, there's a grill. They do. We do have a microwave though. But anyways, uh, here is the chilling area of the hotel. I almost tripped. And uh, there is the outdoor section. There's the. Is it alright to sit? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, well. As a, unless, unless if you actually brought some cushions. But, oh, actually, no. Actually, um, they should be in there. Oh, yeah. So, there's there's cushions in here. So, okay. Well, we're not going to worry about seeing that. But, just, I want to show you the area. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys. Um... I'm in a little bit of a fever state, so I'm not like exactly sick. Um, I have a little bit of a cough going on, and I can still smell, but it's like my nose is like feeling stuffed. I am taking some medicine, it's just uh, taking its slow, beats full time. But from what 
But from what I'm able to smell like, hey, you can hear the birds chirping. It just smells a lot like spring and it even feels like spring. So, you know, I want you to try to vision all this with all, without, just imagine like all this just as all landscape with nothing but miles and miles of grass, bushes and trees. It's kind of like an escape. So we have this outer area. That's the fireworks shop right over there. If Steve is able to somehow pull some strings, I'll just drive back, go over there and get a few fireworks. Good to go, but you know, chances are he might not. And the freeway is like in the middle right there. We, I have a McDonald's nearby. I dug a donuts, a couple of gas stations. And there we have another field over there. So it's like a big open space. And I don't know if you see that. If you see right that, that red spot right there, that's actually a static display biplane with pontoons on top of a shop. So yeah. It's just beautiful out here. Really, really beautiful. So, not much. So, look at this. So, <laughs> I have no words to say. I did bring actually, oh, I wanna show you this part. I, I was gonna say, I actually brought some nasal uh, nostril spray to also help you with my nose, if I'm able to, if it'll help. Um, there's also a little bit of that land up there. So if you like move up to upstate Pennsylvania or upstate New York, there's a lot of open space. I did, was hearing that it was really expensive. But yeah, I'm actually gonna heat up my sandwich in the microwave by chance. I'm probably gonna have like one half of it. But yeah, I will show you what's inside of it. And uh, we're actually gonna hit the sack early. I wanna try to get to the speedway at around 6.30ish, 7 a.m.-ish. See if I can get to the drivers in time, just so I can see if I can help them out in the nick of time. I don't know if I will, but uh, at least I just hope I'm able to still at least get a little bit more tasks done. And uh, sorry guys, I had to abruptly end the clip right there. There was a little girl and a mom coming right out, so I had to stop right there. Um, if you guys were, for those of you who live in New York, New Jersey, the East Coast, wherever, we recently, you might have known this, we recently had a massive heat wave just pass by. I think there is still bound to be some hot days, but we had that massive heat wave. And me, along with a few handful of people, had broken ACs that we had to try to fix. And I couldn't even sleep in my room because of how hot it was upstairs. So I had to sleep downstairs in the guest bed that pull out sofa in the guest room and uh i like it wasn't uncomfortable but it's just that, like it was just not as comfortable as my bed but yeah and it and especially when it came to my job both morning and outbound shifts it was miserable that i had to work all that shit but you know I'm trying to focus on really trying to get the money that I need from those hours. And it also just made me really hard to do some, do my work up there, video editings and such. It really put a damper on what I wanted to work on. But anyways, um, I'm going to get my dinner all set up. So I got a couple of these pills from the lobby that should hopefully help me out. Um, um, so it's supposed to be a 24 hour a day pill so it's supposed to uh, help you uh, sleep well at night and it it's supposed to help you um, with sneezing, running nose, cough, nasal congestion and sinus pressures and stuff like that so it sh should help a little bit. Here's my food. It's, it's called the Fat Porsche Doug 
or the duck, the fat Doug Porsche, I believe. A foot long American cheese mac uh, mac and cheese. Well, actually, those are the extras. It's supposed to have fries, uh, chicken tenders, mozzarella sticks, uh, Thousand Island sauce, waffle fries, mac and cheese bites, and all that all that fun stuff. I took off the onion rings. Um, I don't. I, I I like it, but like they fall apart when you eat. Technically, like just depending on who makes it. Um, I'm gonna heat one half up, and I'm gonna show you what that is like. Um, only two restaurants like this exist in Jersey. If you ever go there, it's called the it's called Cars Eatery. Look it up, and they look they look amazing. Never mind, guys. So we were able to actually. Uh, get it heated up. I just had to turn on the propane. So I have my half of the sandwich. So I'm going to take off the wrapping and I'm going to put it in there. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart. It might, but let's hope things go well with it. I can't even tell. Um, um, I'll get back to you guys shortly. So it's actually on the grill now. So it's just going to be heated up. I was considering putting in the microwave, but that was that was uh, before um, I figured out how to work it. You got to turn the propane on, so that's what I did. I thought you needed the lighter at first, so now it's working. So I'm gonna let the sandwich heat up, and if I, I think if I did put it in a microwave, I think it would have just um, got a little soggy. And so yeah. Um, also, I just put some uh, nasal spray in my nose and. I can smell a little bit better at the moment, so yeah, so it just smells like spring, fresh cut grass and land. It's like, kind of like the smell of freedom, and that's that. And so now when the sh sandwich finishes uh, heating up, I'm going to actually have my dinner out here. So while the sandwich is heating up, actually, I'm going to go get my soda. So the sandwich is getting heated up really well. And there's another grill here. That one doesn't seem to be working. So, I don't know if this door has a lock or anything. Actually, I don't think it does. But, uh, I want to see if I can try to get a plate or something so I can see if... Oh, I think that's just an emergency exit. Um, I want to see first if I can get a plate uh, so I don't have to put it on a table without making a mess. But, uh, let's just see if I can get that. So, I actually um, figured out what the name is. So, okay, so right here, right now, where the hotel is, it's New Milford, Pennsylvania. Right where the speedway is, that's actually Susquehanna, Pennsylvania. I think, as far as I know, I think that's what it is. Or Susquehanna. I'm, I'm probably wrong on both ends. Alright, so now, here's the sandwich. It's probably going to need to be heated up a little bit more, but... Hey, bon appetit. Mmm. 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 Mozzarella sticks, fries, chicken tenders. That's having thousand iron sauce pickles. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Guys, there is stray cats right over there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. There must be a mother and couple of babies. Oh. I wonder if I can give them a little something of my dinner. Look at that. I don't know if I want to get up and see how they're doing. I mean, well, you know, it could be a mother and her kittens. Oh my goodness. They're just wandering around, going up that tree. So I was walking away, about to leave him alone. I go, I'm walking over here. There was another cat right there, staring right at me. So I'm 
walking. He walked right up here. He's like making. I don't know where he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. There's the other cat right there. See, that's not the cat that initially just showed up. That's the cat that was staring me down when I was going back there. I think that's the mate right there. If you could see them, I. If you see them, chances are they're just hiding somewhere further under that dumpster. Yeah, I don't really see them. The other one just scurried away. I think he's under the shack. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him alone now. I'm gonna leave him alone. Yeah, the cats are right up there, so they're waiting. I think they're gonna. I think they're just gonna wait for me to get inside, so they can just retreat. But guys, I have never seen anything like this before. I'm absolutely amazed. This is great. Okay, this time I'm going to keep my distance. I'm gonna stay right where I am. I'm gonna see this cat. Okay, see, there they go right now. I need. Oh, there, there they are. There they are. I gotta get my phone. Yeah. So if I go, if I go anywhere near them, they're just gonna get scared away. And they're gonna, they're gonna go right into that dumpster. The chances are they are looking for something to eat. That's the farthest I can zoom in. But, oh my gosh, is this crazy. Alright, so I just finished eating. I'm just uh, getting a little bit of air at the moment. But, uh, yeah. I actually just called my parents and I told them about what I went through. And they actually told me that, like, it's common for feral stray cats that... When they're, you know, wandering through the fields and the forest is trying to uh, survive and such. Unless people get cap capture them and, uh, you know, clean them down and put them up for adoption. Um, you know, it's very common that you could see feral cats. In my area, where I'm from, where I live, um, like I'm not, like I live by the, I'm kind of like between the upstate and the city. So I'm more of like from the rurals. But, um... But, like, when it comes to, like, open spaces, it's more common than we think. But, um, yeah. So, Sarah, my sister, <coughs> I have that cough, excuse me, but. So, she and her, and her boss, I'm seeing one of the cats right now. Um, she and her boss actually just opened up a new restaurant, and it's called the Woodstock Way. And a couple of my dad's pieces of art and Woodstock, you know, memorabilia is hanging up inside of the restaurant. I do got to check it out when I can. But, uh, God. but um, if I'm able to see it and go visit it, I'll have to film it. But that's where I'm at now. And, um, yeah. But everything's going good. But, uh, oh, is that one of them? There might be a rock. I thought I saw something furry right there, but yeah. But yeah, I'm just eating. I'm just getting a little bit of air, and then I'll head right inside. It is not 
it's pretty nice out. It's not cold or hot or anything like that, but it could be. But I will go inside very soon. But that's that. Here's another shot of the cat. Uh, the camera. I'm I'm gonna have to get like um. I need to get like a new another like type of lens at some point in the future so I can have better zoom. But yeah, that's one of the cats right there. That's one of the kitties. But yeah, this time I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna try to let it get the best of me. But yeah, it's sad. But you know, at the same time, this is crazy. Kind of like a deer. It's a family of deer walking by. Unbelievable. Well, good morning, everybody. It's now about 5 a.m. Well, it's it's after 5 a.m. It's nearly 5.30. Yeah, it sound a little really weird because... Okay, well, it is because I just woke up. But I think it's because of... So... I actually took one of those relief pills that helps, like, you know, soothe the sickness and stuff like that. So I think, like, when I'm talking quietly as, I'm, as possible, um, that's how, like, I guess that's how it makes you sound when you're, like, going through a cough or something. And my nostrils do feel normal for the most part. Um, but, yeah. But hopefully, though, it'll help uh, me throughout the day until, you know the next night which is going to be you know later in the day but um yeah so i'm not going to be getting ready i'm going to see if if i leave by 6 a.m or stuff like this 6 a.m and i get there around 6 30 i'm going to see if anyone is there and uh well i'm not going to get out if i want to be there just like when no trucks have pulled out and i want to be there in a timely matter and see if i can try to help someone if necessary i mean hopefully things do go in my favor but it might be unlikely but i want to see what happens but i just want to see if i can try to help people uh you know to try at least get one of the trucks set up i do know a few guys with the crustacean team and i think steve sims if he's driving snow crusher that that's at this event then i might i might help him out um excuse me but, uh, yeah, but we just got to see what happens. I have uh, my portable charger all charged up. Charged up. And uh, necessarily, I don't really think I need anything to eat, but I do need uh, some energy drinks. And hopefully, uh, at this event, uh, things will go well. I mean, not just for me, but, like, you know, for everybody. I'm going to be bringing Doritos, my Doritos and Mountain Dew. And, uh, and I'm also going to be bringing my iPad. So anyways, guys, I'm going to plug my camera in. I'm going to get ready. And uh, we'll be heading right out to Penn Can Speedway. So it's overcast, and it's actually dropping. Not too badly, but a little bit. So it's going to rain a little bit today and tomorrow. So uh, thankfully, though, for today, I have the long sleeve. And thankfully, I have my umbrella prepared. Um, and I have my belt in that laundry bag, so I think I could use that to help cover the camera if I need to stand it on the tripod. Hopefully it doesn't rain too bad out, uh, but, yeah. So I actually need to go to the bathroom real quick, and then we'll actually be on our way for real. Alright, guys. We are here at Pan Can Speedway. The other rain is picking up. You know, actually... As of right now, though, I don't really care if it's going to rain, you know. People are going to be working on their trucks regardless of the weather. You know, they did say it's rain or shine. So I'm not going to care if my glasses get soaked or anything like that. So we have one of the trucks here. I actually got here good timing. Um, so I'm actually going to sit here and um, see what happens. Um, I'm going to be parking right here i'm making sure they did steve actually did let me know that like got park you can park in the pit area right where the semis are just keep your distance as uh farther away as best as possible if the other when the other trucks come and if they uh start like piling up like up until here and if they're close to my car i will move um uh, maybe somewhere like right over there but um we have a nice view of the uh poke i think this is the poconos um, I'm not going to roll down my window. I know you can't really see much because of the rain on my car, but... Yeah. 
but it's um, it's a nice it's a nice area surrounded by mountains and hills. So um, hopefully things will go well, and if um, if anything, hopefully I'll be able to work on the trucks for a little while. I mean, like I said, I do believe Steve knows me well. I do believe I know the Chris Wiki. He's one of the guys that knows me well, along with uh, Craig Christensen. Um, and yeah, also the Burzies know me. I think I might be able to work on one or two trucks. I might not get a lot of work, obviously, but I do at least want to work on one truck, help get the tires on, put the fuel in. Uh, I mean, but that's, but you know, that's a we'll see what happens thing. Uh, but I know that like sometime after that, after the trucks are put together, I will definitely have to help around the facility. Also, if it, if anything, if if um if the weather lightens up. I should be able to uh, go in one of the suites of the Speedway if Steve says you can do that. And um, if he's able to pull some strings, like I said, then hopefully we could get fireworks for the night. But yeah, but chances are it might not happen. He might he might not be able to pull the strings. Um, I I could go to the fireworks shop myself and pick them up, something that I can afford, and then maybe have someone lighten up. But um, but he said it's more like the pyro guy's job. And I think it, even if I would want to line them up, then, uh, then you know, I just can't. Because, like, you know, he will want me to stay somewhere more safe, even if I am keeping my distance. But, yeah. But, anyways, I'm just going to wait here and see what happens. And hopefully I'll be able to catch some stuff on film. I'm going to have to briefly, briefly open the window for this one. But there are turkeys now. Uh, walking by ah, one of those running by running away actually uh, I don't know I don't know if I got it but yeah look there are turkeys now walking by the scenery so that's another sign of wildlife so quite another beautiful sight to see and yeah, as you see, it's quite coming down. And you would probably see that in the distance. Uh, you don't know if you can see it, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to leave my camera out there too long. All right, I got to close this window. But yeah, there are turkeys, they're, but they're now walking away. I wasn't sure if I caught a good glimpse of it on camera because I'm holding it quite far out. But yeah. Okay, guys. There is like an occasional drops coming down. So it's gonna be. I really should have considered brought bringing pants, uh, but you know I'm just coming out of the heat wave still, I guess. But look, see, the mud is like it's not deep or anything, it's not sticky, but it's starting to like really show. I think the guys are. We still we're still waiting on like the birdies just came here. I still don't know. I think that's a crustacean. I don't know if that's stone crushers or anything, but, you know, um, still, we're still waiting on a couple other guys. And I was also coming back here. I actually felt like a really powerful bump. I actually ran over that. Well, you see, that these are actually my tracks. I actually ran over that big rock. And it was concerning. I didn't know what I ran over. I was concerned about something big. And it was this rock. It, it rolled right under my car. I'm gonna get this out of the way a little bit. <clears throat> ah, that's as far as I'm gonna get it. So, I got it. Got some of my supplies. I'm gonna wait a little longer until I hear the engines roar, then I'm gonna come back here. So we're gonna make our way to the speedway. I'm gonna see if I can get to Perry. Sorry, I'm gonna get to Steve and um, get my wristband. Look at this, guys. The mud is a little thicker right here. See that? And I'm a little stuck. Oh gosh. But yeah. So at least I one thing I know for sure is that the water truck's not gonna have to worry about watering down the track. I think it's depending on what we get, it's gonna be a little slick. Let's walk up right here. I have the sniffles, obviously. So, here is the speedway. There is some old wooden bleachers right over here. And there's the track. It doesn't look like 
Rock, oh, it, it looks like, from what I see, we're going to have like a straight line race. So I was initially visioning that it's going to be like Chicago style. We go, we go one jump and then we go all the way around the track. That would have been cool. But I think it's going to be sticking to like mainly uh, that side right there. So this is like one of the old school, I don't know if NASCAR came to this track many, many years ago. Or I think this is just mainly just purposely built for dirt racing. But it's one of these old school small raceways. Oh, these are, I don't, oh wait, no, those were wooden bleachers. Look at this bleacher. This is like all made of steel. Here's this old rock pile. Rock pile, rock, rock wall, whatever you call it. I don't know if that car part is one of those race cars. Yeah. And that's the infield right in there. It's pretty cool. So here we are, guys. This is the speedway. And it still uh, has these old wooden grandstands, especially this wooden part right here, these right here that goes a long way. So this tells you that uh, this speedway has been here for like decades. It's a nice view. You can see all the mountains from up here. It's beautiful. And that right there, I don't know if you can, actually you can see it. That's an old like lap sign with a painted McDonald's and right at the end with the stop and go light announcer's booth. And so yeah, right here, it's just going to be the popper and it's just gonna be a straight line thing so there is some promise that this event will be good and there is a winner circle right there I think that's where the drivers are gonna go for their interviews and all that stuff and right here we have all these suites hopefully if considering what we're gonna get weather wise weather wise I'll be able to record videos in there I do have my umbrella and I am prepared but I just have to hope that I don't have to keep flipping outside. So there has been care basically being put into this facility. I think it would be nice if these, now I'm not trying to say this out of bad intentions, but I think it would be cool if these grandstands were renovated into um, like using plastic seats of some sorts. They don't have to like go all the way, get anything fancy. It would be nice if these were dug out and then they got like plastic seats. I think like unless uh, if you bring like your own blanket, pillow, cushion or whatnot, it does help. But I think it would still look pretty cool. But you know what, there has been, on the bright side though, there have been maintenance being put into this place. So, yeah. So I'm gonna try to find Steve, and um, hopefully, it, like I have to get my wristband though first, and then make sure that when I'm around, people will know, hey, I'm behind the scenes, I'm with the league, I'm uh, able to work here. But yeah, I don't know if he's here at the moment, but I'll see if I can find him. Also, here's the food booth. There is hamburger, cheeseburger, hot dog, mozzarella sticks, fries, pizza. Oh, pizza logs. Mac and cheese. I might get something right here. Think about it. Schneider's Market. The restroom's over there. This vending machine. Don't know if it... I don't think it works as far as I know. But it looks, uh, looks pretty dirty and out of date. It's... Well, actually, no, it's, a, it's pretty much a few years old. I just don't know if it's working at the moment. It doesn't look like it. No, I don't see any lights, but yeah. But yeah, okay, well, I gotta find Steve. How far are you? Excavator. So is Horse Rex. It's here. Basically, there's going to be three tractor trailers, and I'm going to wait for the trucks to come out, and maybe I'll park it somewhere else. 
excuse me. But uh, right now, right, it's just safe for me to keep my distance. Uh, maybe if anything, I'll park right here where my hand is. But right now, I'm just waiting. The the, the Bursies are just going to pick up the Sims and then bring them back to the trailer so they can come back here. And so yeah, that's that. I don't know how long I left my truck on the phone, but like I'm more my car. Right now, though, they're for this weekend only running without the body, so it's gonna be like bodyless wrecks or something. But yeah. Taking tires out, I gotta put my camera at a safe distance. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, you're still recording? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm vlogging, you know, my journey. Your journey? Oh, I know what you're about to say. <laughs> that belt's that belt, that belt not coming home with you. Can you believe that, folks? Another yeah. show with him, and he still declined this fight. Unfair shit. Oh, 
I never actually seen someone wear that in person. I, I want to get one. Actually, I think my dad had one. Alright, let's just set it up. Are you, ser are you serious? Catch it, Jack. Hey, hey, keep pushing, keep pushing it this way, this way, tripod, tripod. <laughs> uh, we'll go to the, I think this is, what is this, the 10? 8? That is, that's not the 10, that's the 10 fly with it. What's the other one? Oh. I put the 10 fly in the whole seat on the front. Yeah, no, that one I put in the rear. Okay. So I put that one and I put the 10 fly in the rear usually when I use those tires, and I put the treaded one in the front if we're doing mud shows. Who? So the tire that's on that side, at the back, that one will go to the Gage front. trying to so explain stuff. Oh, dude, we're getting close, Mark. Oh, I thought it was a safe distance. <laughs> I don't think that's... That's like a couple feet too safe, Mark. Do you hook claw on that thing? Do you hook claw on that thing? He doesn't, know what he's, he doesn't know what he's talking about right here. I do. I do. Get, let me see this. Let me see. Let me get closer to this. <laughs> he's got a hook taw and spit on that thing. Yeah, that's Zach LeBlanc right there for you guys. So the tires are out for uh, Team Bursey. And uh, so Gage has got some new uh, fresh ones. That he Excavator rules, Toasaurus drools. <laughs> so yeah, he's, so he's got uh, new fresh ones uh, right here. Uh, there on that flatbed and right here. Um, and uh, so the new Taurus Taurus Rex is going to use the, you know, the ones that are more worn out. Hopefully though, he'll should be able to still do the job. We're not going that room. So, and uh, Pterodactyl is right here in the pits. And so, yeah. So, I'm gonna see if I can get some tires screwed on. Hey guys, so I actually just want to repeat the clip. I had to delete it and retake it because um, I wasn't sure if you were able to hear me because it was, it's windy. But uh, so the Stone Crusher team is here and um, I'm just waiting for them to unload. I might be able to work with them. Uh, so we have Alex Bright. Uh, it's probably not his last name. I probably mispronounced it. Um, I'll, 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 I'll look it up. But we have Alex and uh, we have Frank Kremel here. And uh, yeah, it's so exciting to work with them. And uh, Toast Horse Rex right here. And uh, and here's actually something that Gage told me is that so right here, uh, right where the hood is cut right here, he actually trimmed this out willingly. So he because he has a he has a chest he has a bumper in the process of being built to put right here um, on the right here on the frame so we can go right here. So that's why he that's why the hood looks like that. So he's not gonna trim anything smooth out. And the shock straps right here, he actually got my answers, is that like, they're still like that, but the parts that he has uh, right here on Toy Source Rex, that'll eventually be added right here. Basically, he's just still giving it um, what it can handle. He does have upgraded tires, so the worn out ones he's still going to use just on Toy Source Rex. This also depends on when the other truck, Witch Doctor, which is going to be the third truck on the former Toy Source uh, truck, is going to be repurposed for. So that's that on that. I thought he got hurt. Everybody did. But he finally.
How do I how do I zoom in on this thing? Okay. How do I zoom in? <laughs> hey, how do I zoom in on this? Oh, right there. Yeah. Jack hijacked my camera. I did. Very nice. Good yeah. picture of Jesper. I'm zooming in on. Jesus. Oh. We have a wild. Chase Versi. Zach Winchenbatch, you are my hero. Nathan Winchenbatch. Let's play Square farming up, LeBron. Square up, LeBron. Square up. Square whoa. up. Whoa. Yo, whoa, whoa. 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 Mark, y'all upload this. This is good content. This is good content. It's going to be the tag team. It's me and Zach versus you and Jesse. Tommy Powers and Frank Krimmel Sr. Rest in peace. Okay, we're unloading Stone Crusher now. I'm only gonna film some parts in between since I wanna save the battery.
kind of cramped. So we're going to like, just like stand like right up here, go through up here. Yeah, there's a uh, we have a ladder in there too. That if you think that would yeah, that probably be easier. Yeah, I don't. I just don't think I can squeeze through there. So yeah, the way the bedside.
overfilled it. I gotta get help. I probably don't have much battery left. So, Stone Crusher and Hooked it all, are all fueled up. The Burzies are all tired up still. Have to prep a little bit. Now it's time to tire up. Tire time. gonna do one side we're basically in a hurry because um, it's supposed to rain I don't know how long probably in an hour half hour or so I gotta check the phone but basically we're just gonna go it's uh, go at rapid pace Yeah, rain's on the way, so... Yeah, guys. So I'm just gonna show the cat. I'm just gonna show this tire, and then we're gonna have to cut the block on this one short.
Pump one on. Mark, you get the pump one on? Yeah, I'm getting the pump right now. Okay, just barely snug the pop one, and then I'm going to pick up on the tire some, okay? All right. You got that one tight with the uh, impact? On the top? Yeah. Yeah, just give it a little. Do you want, do you want it just this tight? Uh, just, just barely tight enough with the impact, and then I'll pick up the tire. Where do you want me to get that one all the way in? Uh, let me see what you got. I got, uh, I got this one. Yeah, do you get any tight enough up with the impact? Yeah, just barely hit it. All right, and now I'll pick it up. Now, now go ahead and tighten all the other ones. Always bring your earmuffs.
so when I was uh, putting that tire on, the camera abruptly died. So I had to go back to the hotel and get my charger. So, um, so after that, I came after after I so after I filmed that uh, one of the tire putting one of the tires on with my iPad. I then had to go back to my hotel and get my charger, which I could have sworn I thought I brought, but like turns out I didn't. Okay, but then after that, I couldn't really film much anymore because it then started to rain, and it's supposed to rain again and again. Uh, so, apparently, I think we would have done the fireworks, but if the weather was good. But because um, it's, like, raining, like, you know, on and off, again and again, like, on and off, uh, it makes it unsafe, basically. So, we're not doing it. Uh, but I'm going to contact Accord Speedway and see if we'll be okay to still do it also depending on the weather but here we are we're here in the indoor suite of the Speedway safe from the weather and uh, safe and dry and uh, this is where we're going to see the show go down so we're less than an hour away it's about nearly 6.30 and it uh, should be interesting depending on the outcome so here we go So the show didn't really do too long. Uh, for one, it was the muddy tracks that apparently, and I think it was the weather. Actually, no, it's the weather. It's not. Mu well, it's not so much of the track. The weather, like, because it, it's like they wanted to get through it as quick as possible because of, like the rain could come in at any time again. It's not raining right now, but it's gonna probably rain again eventually. <laughs> and the other thing is that. Uh, two of the Bursey's trucks are having troubles. Um, Toa Source Rex and Excavator, they had their race, and which Excavator won. And then, uh, then Toa Source Rex uh, went to one side of the track over here and didn't move again. Never moved again. So something's probably wrong with the transmission or the engine. And uh, Excavator, like, it's still basically like a truck that's in working with, that's like a work in progress. Like, like they're doing what they can, but it's like, it's still catching like, you know, a couple bugs there and there. But uh, he didn't do, but in freestyle though, he made a couple of good hits and like a couple times it like shut off in the middle. So yeah, but freestyle, pretty nice. Uh, so the racing winner at the end was, uh, was Stone Crusher. Uh, skills, skills and freestyle was um, crustacean. So that's that. So we're back at the pits. So I'm gonna see if Steve wants me to do anything, um, given the outcome. And then, but if not anything much, that's it for night one. She goes sometimes.
hear how it cuts it out? Yeah. It brings the idle down? I think it's still way too fucking fast. So, turns out from what I was told, guess um, excavators' problems is that like there was a cover that goes right over this uh, over this gear, whatever, whatever, and then like it's been coming off since like the first race. It they were able to put it back on before freestyle, but after the first couple hits, it came back off again. So. So basically, truck wasn't able to keep going that long. The issue with Toasaurus Rex, from what I do understand, is that this one had oil pressure issues, and uh, I think something with the fuel too. So, but those are easy fixes from what the birds said. Oil came out. Uh, in a murky mess in this color right here. Look at that. They got a, a new one in. They were testing it just now. Burned a lot of fuel too, which they'll refuel easily. We have a beautiful sunset in the horizon. So, look at that. Beautiful. Crustacean in a muddy mess. Look at this rear tire. Lumberjack, basically in the same state. Not as bad, but still quite a, quite a good amount. And finally, hooked and stone crusher in a state. They said that uh, because they got to be back in Virginia by Monday, after tomorrow's show, they got to tire down real quick. So it just depends on what the weather will be like and the conditions will be. Well, look at that. Look at this tire. Look how it's all coated in mud. But look at this. Look at all this mud, this texture. So these mud will come off in a scrape and the body will be power washed. People goofing around in there. And so that's it for show number one. And so, that's it. <coughs> All right, I just gotta show you this, guys, before I head out because this is just beautiful right here. That beautiful sunset.
Well, it was nothing better than wrapping up the night than watching some wrestling. Well, just having a good little dinner. And that night concludes night number one. The following morning. A little bit of a hint of sun, but mostly overcast. So it is now the last day of the show, or the weekend here in Sacoa, uh, of here in Pennsylvania at Pencan Speedway, and uh, so it's gonna be a good one. Hopefully, a lot better than yesterday. Um, it is bound to probably drizzle still, and the mud is uh, or the track is still gonna be tack muddy, but hopefully it should go a lot smoother than yesterday. And, um, but once the show ends, I have to get down to the pits to try to help out the guys wrap up a little bit, even if the trucks are really dirty. And that, you know, that's going to be part of, you know, living your dream job. Like, things are going to get pretty dirty and disgusting along the way. But as long as you're living your dream, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? But, yeah. So, once I'm done there and I have done everything I needed to do to help out, you know, the guys and all that stuff... And when I get back here, if there's still plenty of daylight out, I will go swimming. I will eat what's left of my my sandwich. I will wash my clothes, and then I will go swimming. And then that'll be it for the day. The day, and then the following day, I will wrap up. Actually, also when I went to get some food, I got some of the small fireworks. The smaller fireworks that you can use in New York. In New York, you know, you can do fireworks, you just can't get the, you know, the big boom boom ones. So also, I am gonna probably consider emailing Accord Speedway, asking like if it'd be okay if we do fireworks for them versus monster trucks at uh, when we get there. So, I mean, hopefully things go in our favor, but you know, we gotta see what happens first, but Yep, anyways, let's go to the speedway. Well, Stone Crusher is still as dirty as I remember. Well, here we are, guys. We're back here at the speedway, uh, Pencan Speedway. I'm now just making my way up to the, the suite where, you know, everyone else is gathered at. So basically, since the gates will be opening in about an hour or so, hour and a half, I guess, um, uh, uh, there's not much for me to do back here at the moment so I'm just heading right over there get set up get my gear all together and then uh, once the show is up then that's when I'll be able to go back down there to try back down here to try to do some work so see how everything goes and it's still quite tacky not as much, but it's still there. It's still all very wet, but you know, there is still bound to be really, um, not as bad rain, but hopefully the weather holds out. If it does, then you know, that'd be good too. So, heading up to the suite right now. So here is the overview of the racetrack. I believe that if I do So, according to the radar, there's a storm happening like very like in that direction over the horizon. But according to the radar, we're supposed to catch like a nick of it. And I see, I can see, I don't know if you can, but right through those trees, I can see like a fuzz over the mountain. So like there's rain coming. So it's supposed to like catch a nick of catch a a nick right where we're at and pass right over. But uh, hopefully by then. Uh, right before the gates open it'll just uh, end right there like that but uh but yeah we are gonna basically get some rain so let's go back inside of the suite keep the equipment safe and wait for this thing to pass over and even though there's no like cooling air conditioning in here aside from the fridge uh, at least it's safe from, from this weather that we're about to get. 
and uh, Caden is out there trying to fix up the track a little bit. Not necessarily try to dry it up. It's, so basically, it's still going to be muddy. But uh, by the time, the, hopefully, if the rain passes over in a good timing, then I mean, at least we'll be good by then. Look over there on the horizon, guys. You see, you see, you see how it's all like fuzzy over there. That's the rain. Rain falling down in the hills right over there. So basically, it's like kind of like a line. It, it's gonna be as it moves along. It's gonna be like thin, but then it's gonna like expand a little bit over here, right over there. That's the rain coming right over to in our direction, right through the trees. So that's kind of that's pretty much the rain we're gonna be getting. But we are getting it. And lightning did pass by. And we did get a lightning strike. So uh yeah, so it's basically a storm. Okay, we got okay, here it comes, it's hitting right now. I gotta go away. So we have a, uh, we're trying to clean out the floods right now and uh, trying to uh, trying to get the track a little less wet, but you know, it'll still be muddy as it usually, uh, the damage is already done. So um, yeah, so basically just trying to get all the floods out there so the trucks wouldn't have to slip and slide, at least not as much. We're just still not going to be able to do like specific tricks that we're all hoping for like moonwalks and all that stuff but but hopefully those still will have a good outcome so it's actually hot sunny and humid out it's definitely gonna help the track out a lot but it is hot but thankfully though it's a lot cooler in here I mean like when I'm sitting here like the wind doesn't blow but at least we have air conditionings and all that good stuff to keep us uh, cool enough. I know that like once I go back down there to help out the team pack up and stuff, uh, I just hope it'll be a good timing. I just cannot wait that like once this is all over, I can just go back to the hotel, swim, eat, have dinner, get ready for the drive home tomorrow. So, it's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. I probably couldn't even stand up that stuff. It's cute though. Hey, how many of you kids want one of the is this electric? Is that the deal? How many of you kids would want something like this? I'm sorry, Mike, I don't have one to give to you. I don't. What I do have is a special guest alongside of me, so ladies and gentlemen, if you would please say a warm welcome at this time for Yep. You might want to get that out show to him. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen, the monster truck heavyweight champion of the world, Mark Crush. That's actually Monster Crush Gallows to you, old man. Just to Hannah, Pennsylvania! How are you guys doing? You know, despite all the rain that we went through this past weekend, I can promise you, we have a good show in store. But no, I just want to let you guys know something. This belt right here, I had it since day one. And I am the one and only monster truck driving heavyweight champion. There is no one else in this world that can ever break this off of my shoulder. Not a driver, not a no life fan, no one. Not even any of you people in this, in this dance who can stand a chip and is worthy of all this thing. 
I am the one and only true. What? Well guys, that is officially the wrap here at Penn Can Speedway. It was a lot, it was crazy, but it was a lot of fun. The second show was great. And uh, despite like the track being taggy in areas, it managed to dry up for the most part. So right now we're tearing down the track, trying to get it to back to its normal state. Everyone's now tiring down. So Steve and the other guys, they want me to actually stay back, help tear down the tents and everything. So I'm not gonna be able to tire down everything with uh, Stone Crusher and everything. So because everyone's gotta get, gotta get going. Maybe there's a chance if if Bursey still has 
hasn't tired down yet, then maybe I'll see if I can do anything. I mean, there's pretty doubt, but you know, I still got a little chance to put the acceleration pedal down. So that's good. So, um, so yeah, at least I managed to get some work done. I will keep in touch with Alex and see where he goes next to see if I'll be able to have my schedule all cleared out. But yeah, that's, so it was, so it was great. So after I do my, after I do my stuff here, I'm gonna go back to the hotel, jump in the pool, eat and relax, have a good night's sleep. And uh, hopefully one day if I'm able to, I'll be able, I have to get my title back. It got stolen. I think so. Wait a minute. You were never official, were you? I had a ref shirt on. You ran away before you could see it. You're going. You're going to pay for that. I swear to God. Okay, Mark. Well, that's that. It turns out that he was never an official. I had my belt stole from me, but it's. Going, I am going to get it back, so no worry about that. So Pterodactyl is also on the track right now, giving the last people a ride. So after Pterodactyl clears out, everyone after everyone else clears out, we're going to start tearing everything down. But you know, it was a great time up here. There's another beautiful view of the hills up in the horizon. And so, yep, that is that. So, thank you, Pen Can Speedway, and thank you to Steve, and thank you to Versus Monster Trucks for another shot. So, um,. I'm gonna now stand back, help tear everything down. I'm gonna try to get some behind the scenes footage and after that, when I'm back there, if I'm able to, hopefully I'll get some work in. I just hope, I just wanna try to get back at a good timing. Actually, maybe what I'll do first, maybe I'll eat. Uh, I don't wanna you know, grill the sandwich in the dark. Anyways, um, I gotta get going. All right, I'm probably not gonna have the best angle. Uh, I'll make that work. All right, now to get this one down.
I, I barely got it out of the fence here. <laughs> By the way, that tent was not a one-man job. The spectator had to help me out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. Thank you. Yeah. Is it down there? Or up oh, the... no. It's at the trailer now. Awesome. Thank you, Mark. You got it. I'm the next champ. So Jeff is uh, giving me some uh, behind the scenes work to do, but uh, obviously I'm not going to get so much in on tow source wreck to has a little bit more of the breakage. So apparently like uh, something like broke inside of the one of the axles and then what happened to have lost the wheel. Pressure's getting all tired up, tired down, ready to, ready to leave. So they really had to leave in a hurry, so I'm not going to bother them. So, so Gage, it was a pretty solid weekend with you and the team. Obviously, you have a, still have some bugs to work through. Yeah. So, what I happened? Mean, so, uh, tell us your point of view. What's going on with the excavator still, apart from like the tire upgrade? Well, to be honest, you know, I got I got a 12 inch transfer case in my truck. Uh, just what I had, and that's what I'm using. And it's starting to get a little bit worn out, and uh, I need to order a new case for it. So I just did that today, actually, right after I broke. Uh, I put a, I placed an order for one, so I can start putting, mounting up a new one, working on a new mount set up for it. But uh, basically, what happened was, is I had the bolt back out on the yoke that goes on the front of my transfer case, and I caused the slip yoke U joint it's a uh, u-joint caps out and the drive shaft come out and eventually i ended up having to take it and just pull the entire drive shaft out during the show and just run away yeah. other than that everything felt pretty good with the new tires yeah. they're definitely a lot heavier but yeah. uh they feel they felt like they gripped pretty good yeah. you know for the few hits that i made in freestyle but uh yeah, right. so I'm excited to see what it does at the next one. Right. Uh, one more question regarding excavator. Uh, so basically, uh, during your freestyle run, it appeared you lost your uh, shaft in the mitts. But I think that actually helped you get your first donut in, sort of, even if yeah. it was slow pace. So what was it like? It was one of the one of the better freestyles. Well, to be honest, the donut, I wish, was a little faster. But yesterday, I had an issue with the gears in the transfer case coming out of it. So that's when I said it's old and worn out. I got it fixed, but I put a smaller set of gears in it 
So it's a little further down on power. So with only rear wheel drive, it, I mean, it was just very slow pace and like barely had a lot of power. I, you have to get a lot of ground speed with it. But, you know, like I said, like hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll have my new case in it and a little bit different setup and change some things around in it. All right. Now, uh, one question just regarding uh, the return of tools. In a long time for a numerous amount of reasons, but obviously, what happened in freestyle, it seemed that it's just more than a tire of the rim. Basically, they're working on something that broke inside. What do you know about? So, what? essentially, what happened is, is uh, one of the spindle nuts we or well, there was actually only one on it. Um, because I'm not gonna say any name to you, somebody forgot to put the second one on it. But uh, while he was running, the one spindle nut was able to start backing itself off, and as the wheel wobbled a little bit, it ended up stripping the nut off, so it just fell right off the spindle. Um, so we're, I'm glad we were able to get him stopped before he kept going, so the wheel didn't go anywhere we didn't want it to. Yep. I know I said there are only one question, but basically, like, it's one of the other trucks that still has a few bugs. Basically, there was oil pressure, something going yep. on with the engine. Oh, what, what do you know about what's going on with that? Essentially, we just had a few oil pressure issues. Um, there was a small oil leak um, due to one bolt backing out of the oil pan and it was causing oil to uh, puke out and we couldn't get oil pressure in it. We ended up finding the issue, we fixed it, uh, got oil pressure back, and then we just been messing with cutting fuel out of it and then having to put more fuel into it because one minute it would be down on power and then one minute it would get power. And you, as you saw toward the last run, it finally started getting power and started doing really good and then that happened. Yeah. Okay, well basically we have a lot of work to do, so uh, we'll wrap it up there. Oh yeah, Thanks, thank Gage. you. See you, Mark. What are you guys waiting for next? What? What are you guys racing next? Oh, uh, when are we racing? Um, we, we have like uh, next week and off, and then like. They'll be going to Plattsburgh, uh, Plattsburgh Bill.
new champ right here, baby. Yeah, you're funny. I got the belt. What are we doing this? We're setting it up. In the pits. In the pits. Back street, backwoods fight. Proud. Okay. Tell that to the camera too. Be there. Herkimer. Herkimer, New York. I go against him for the heavyweight division. It's only about a time before I take no. that belt back myself. You're not gonna get back, Mark. You have to come after us, whoever wins. Yeah. I'm the So I'm back at the hotel. I'm gonna go for a swim. There's definitely some time left. And I actually have a good pile of clothes in the laundry. There is gonna be a few that I that I will wash when I get home. But just uh I wanna save like the really important ones. Should have brought a couple more pairs, but yeah, I didn't know what to expect, I guess. But so clothes are in the laundry and uh I'm about to grill my second half of the sandwich right here. It's a lot bigger. And uh, I actually, I do have like a blueberry pie that I'm going to eat for, din for breakfast tomorrow before I head out. I, but I do have like a dinner plate mac and cheese that I want. I guess I'm just having a craving for mac and cheese. I probably will have that later. A lot later before I hit the sack. But yeah, here at the hotel. And uh, I'm probably going to surf also a little bit. But also, um, fortunately somehow in my pocket somehow i archived a couple of the important emails i managed to get some of them back they're not gone forever they're just like in the all mail section once you archive it anyways um gotta grill the sandwich well i decided to eat here because like well, it's a little windy out, and I feel like it's not that worth it, so. Can't jump.
clothes back from the laundry I'm all basically packed up there is still a few things I need to pack up but I'm just about getting ri I'm just about sort of ready to go back home but we just have one more night here and then we are on our way back so I'll see you guys tomorrow
you know, the first thing to start with, we start where I am right now. Normally I'm close to the water bed, but this is kind of the safe zone, just outside the parking lot but above the water. I want everyone to stop here for 10 or 15 minutes and survey what you see in front of you. You know there's a wind forecast, but where is it blowing, where is it coming from? All right, guys. Well, I just had my breakfast, and I'm going to start packing my stuff up. I, well, I did start packing it up, but so the, the rest of my clothes are actually in the dryer right now. I just need to do a couple of stuff on my laptop, and then it'll conclude from that. But anyways, guys, um, I think we're going to have to conclude the vlog right here. Basically, like next time if I do record, everything's going to be in my car, packed and ready to go, and I'll be home. And... uh yeah, we're just going to end it right there. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. And don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos coming your way in the near future, whenever it is. But thank you guys for watching. <laughs> thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys later.